Hello, this is Brooke Sydney from Bella and the Babe. I'm the Bella half of the duo. So today I am here to talk a little bit about um, creating a conscious pregnancy and more importantly, a conscious pregnancy mindset. As you may have gathered from my other videos and from what's going on on my site, I am launching a new course called Creating a Conscious Pregnancy. Da -da -da -da. Big surprise. So today what I'm going to do is give you another tip. As I mentioned before, the course is going to really go into the mind, body, and spirit aspects of creating a conscious pregnancy. And so I'm just giving some tips leading up to the course about um, how to get there, how to have this great conscious pregnancy, how to think about it, and how to get pregnant, how to have a great pregnancy and a great birth. And all those are really defined by you. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about today, the tip that I want to give is kind of an obvious tip. But believe it or not, there are women who skip this step. And it is, I would put it in the physical or a body step. And that is, go to the doctor. Yes, I know, no brainer. But I feel like it needs to be said. Um, yes. I'm all into consciousness living, holistic health, being gentle with our bodies, uh, um, you know, using alternative methods, all that good stuff, but we have Western medicine, let's use it. Um, you know, we want to be smart, we want to go and have a physical, and what I mean by that is um, go to your doctor, whether that's an you know, an internal medicine doctor or a general practitioner, you just want to go and get a checkup. You know, make sure you're, you know, you are, you have good cholesterol, you don't have high blood pressure. Find out how your systems are working. Not just your, you know, your womb system, the mother goods. You want to find out that all of your body is working, that everything is a go. You know, you want to find out if you're overweight and, you know, that is what you define it to be. There's the whole body mass index, BMI, you know, find out what the world says your weight should be. Find out what's a comfortable weight for you um, and if there needs to be any adjustments, right? Like you just want to know this information and have it with you so then you can release it later. Um, but you want to know if your body's in good working health. And the second part of that is after you've gone to kind of your general practitioner, you want to go to your... OBGYN. I know this sounds so obvious, um, but it's really, really crucial just to get all the information. You want to have your annual pap smear. And if you're honestly preparing for having a baby, talk to your OBGYN. You know, this is, this is a good hint. Find out if she's someone that you truly want to walk the journey of having a baby with. Um, you can start this kind of interview right now if you didn't, you know, approach picking your OBGYN in that manner. Someone may have said, just go to that OBGYN, and you did. So now you have the opportunity to find out if everything is good with, you know, your uterus and your fallopian tubes and all the, all the items that you need to have a, a great pregnancy. Um, get, a, get a pap test. You know, take an HIV test. Um, all the STD tests. Get it going. Know, know your body, know your health, know what's going on down there. You know, don't create shadows in this area. You don't want shadows. You want illumination. You want freedom. And freedom comes from knowing, knowing things and feeling good about it. So take those steps right now to get your physical health on the right track to know what's going on with your full body you know, all of your organs, the major organs anyway, but that would that would come up in a um, in a general physical. Get your blood type. I forgot to tell you that in the beginning. Get your blood type. That's very helpful. Sometimes it's an extra test. And then go to your OBGYN and get, you know, your annual pap smear and do what's called like a preconception visit. I did one with my OBGYN. Um, you know, it's kind of a longer story, which I will definitely share later and it will be a part of the course. Um, but 
I definitely went before I started um, the conception process. I wanted to know what was ahead of me. I also wanted to make sure, you know, this womb was working or in good working order and that I was starting to get prepared. So that's my advice for today. In the course, we go into that a little more in depth. Um, and that's it for today. So um, make those phone calls, set those appointments, put it in your calendar, get all that information together so your body is in tip-top shape. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I look forward to hearing about your doctor visits. Please post about them in, your, in the comment section or send me an email. I'd love to hear about them. I am wishing you amazing reports and fun times at the doctor's office. Make it fun. Go with ease. Go with grace. And I will talk to you later.